Um, it is part of sheet metal. You all have been using some drill bits, correct, on the wings. There's there's some technical stuff that we have to learn for the AAA uh, for check, chapter 16. There are questions in the AAA exam on drill bits, so we have to learn a few things. Um, there's also some practical stuff we're going to cover besides just what's on the AAA. So, first thing is in drill bits, there's three divisions. And this box here shows the three different divisions. So, what are, what kind of what drill bits are you guys using right now? 30. Number thirty. So the first one is a numbered set. This is the numbered set. Okay, one. To 60 they do go down to number 80 so you, can you see that drill bit there yeah that's a 60 what so would how be for? Uh, uh, for my model trains I think I don't know like what would you get a bit that small I have I have a one millimeter drill bit at home and Jeez. and it is so small you lose it I mean I had to put a piece of tape on it just so I could find it okay so in aviation, you probably won't need to use something that small. If you are, you're repairing an orifice. You're not drilling a hole with it, okay? But for everything else, drilling holes, we have the numbered drill bit set, okay? The other thing, the other set you should be familiar with are these. This is the fractional drill bit set. Any idea what fractions are? Yeah. Yes. So what, what, am, I, what am I seeing in here? So instead of number 30, we would find a one-eighth drill bit, yeah, which is uh, like two or four thousandths off, ten thousandths, sorry. So it's not much off, but it's, so it's eight. We've got um, 11 64s, 3 16s, 13 64s. So it goes 64s, 30 seconds, 16 eighths, and quarters. Okay. Oh, and a half. So this is the, in this set, the half inch is the largest because our drill, drill chucks don't go larger than a half inch, okay? If you want to go bigger, they, they have king size drill bits like this one here. But you see the shank here is reduced diameter so you can fit it in there into a chuck. All right. Um, the other set um, is lettered. Okay, so this is an A drill bit. See how, see the size, what size is it? A. It's bigger than anything on our numbered set, right? Yeah. And this is a Z. Now the British are the ones that came up with this set, so it would be called a what? Z. A Z. Thank you, you watch uh, no, Dr. Who? it's the same as Canadian. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not Canadian, eh, but... I know. <laughs> so, this is a Z, and it is not as large as a half inch, but why do they have... Why do you think that we have three different drill bit sets? Yes? So, like, you use the smaller ones for more precision, the big ones for just more, for less precision, than just in between, everything in between? With the everything in between. So between these three sets, you can come very close to any size hole you want. So the uh, lettered set is in between the fractional set, okay, because they're both kind of larger sets. And then these numbered sets are a lot, are, are a higher precision drill bit than the fractional sets, okay, they go a lot smaller. Um, so that is kind of why we have three sets. Now, normally you will only be used in aviation, you'll only use the numbered sets, okay? Like I have a numbered set and it goes from 60 to number one. Um, and a lot of times when I'm drilling holes in the steel or in the castings, I will go up by, I will just, I'll, I'll, I'll go every other drill bit so that I'm not damaging a drill bit or I get a, a a smoother hole every time. So that's kind of why we have the numbered sets. They're, um, they're more precise for what we're doing in, in aviation. So that is the, the types of classifications of drill bits. So the divisions are, what's the first one? Starts with an N. Oh, numbered. Numbered. No. <laughs> numbered. The second one is fractional. No, and the third one is letters. letters. 
Okay, this you have to know for your AAA, okay? There are questions on there. Okay, very good. Um, the next thing, I'm gonna get this visual aid here. So, this is a drill bit. Does everybody kind of understand what this is or do you want a drill bit to look at while we're going through this? Everybody's going no? Okay, very good. So, the first part of the drill bit is called the shank. shank. We did go over this a little bit earlier. Um, what did we do with the shank? We put it in the drill chuck. That's, I don't want to see you putting the flu, fluted part into the chuck, okay? Understand? Yeah. Yes, the shank is good enough. All right, so the major portion of the drill bit is called the body. body. Thank you. So the body has the flutes and the lands and the margins. So the flutes are the cutted, the uh, uh, cut sides in here, the relief sides. What do you think the flutes do? Draw out the material. They what? Draw out the material. Yes, they take the material from in the hole and pass it out, out the hole so that you can keep drilling. If we didn't have flutes, what would happen? The hole would clog up. The hole would clog up and then you wouldn't be able to drill, cause too much friction there. It also reduces the friction. Well, actually, we'll do that. The margin here is that little band, uh, the, the silver band right here. Um, that is the original size of the drill bit, okay? The flutes are cut in. Um, the land, and also the, the land here is cut as well. The margin is the only thing that's the original diameter on the body. And that reduces um, friction because that's the only thing that's touching the hole. So if you've got a deep hole and a piece of solid material, um, that margin is the only thing touching the outside. It reduces the friction, okay? All uh, right. On the end is called the tip. tip. So what is the, what does the tip do? It does the cutting. It does the cutting. Yes, it, is, it drills, but it is the cutting portion of the drill. The, the margin, the flutes, the land, they don't cut. They're just passing everything up, okay? Just the tip cuts. So here is a view, the top view of the tip. This is the chisel head. You don't need to know that or memorize that, but just so that we understand. The chisel tip does not do the cutting. The edges do here, okay? So this part here is the sharp part, right? And that's what does the cutting and on against the material, right? The, um, the chisel tip has a lot of force on it. It can cut, but it doesn't, and that's not its purpose. It's just there to center the thing, okay? As it's spinning around. All right. Um, there's relief cuts. There's other things about drill bit that we don't need to know, right? The biggest thing about drill bit that we didn't need to know is, is it sharp, right? Did I tell you all how to determine if your drill bit is sharp while you're out there? Put it on your finger and twist, twist it around. Now, that doesn't mean push down on your finger as hard as you can, because if you have a sharp drill bit, what are you gonna do? Cut your finger. You cut your finger, all right? We don't want any blood here, so don't cut your finger, but just twist it. This feels sharp to me. I, it feels like it's trying to, it wants to rip my skin, but I'm not pushing very hard, so. That's a sharp drill bit. And where do I feel it? I feel it right here on this front edge, okay? All right, so we're gonna go on to the tips a little bit more. So we have an angle for the tips, okay? We have normal tip angle, which I'd say 80% of your drill bits have that, most of what we are going to use have that normal tip angle. We also have a tip angle for acrylics. Anybody know what acrylics are? Yeah. What? Uh, isn't that the type of, I think I might be thinking of something else. Type okay. of pottery? So our, our windows, our aircraft windows are acrylic. Yeah. They were plexiglass, it's kind of an acrylic, 
but they are acrylic, so we just call it an acrylic drill bit. They are special, the drill bits for that, okay? We'll get into that. Acrylics and soft materials um, are other things. You can use wood, that's a soft material. Um, the other one we have is for stainless steel and very hard materials and sheets, okay? So, anybody remember what I said the normal tip angle was last week? We didn't talk about it. Yeah, we did. I forgot. So. That's all right. You can forget because now you're going to remember. 118 degrees. You have to know that. You have to memorize that. It's on the exam a couple of times, okay? 118 degrees. Might be on my exam, too. We'll get there. All right, 118 degrees. That is the normal angle on most of the drill bits you will find and buy, okay? That is for, that drills most everything that you will ever have to drill, okay? It doesn't drill masonry, it doesn't drill other soft things. Acrylic and soft materials. Any idea what that will be? All right, it's 60 degrees, you want more angle, you want a, a sharper angle. So 60 degrees is what acrylic bits are cut to, right? Very sharp angle. However, acrylic bits are not very sharp, okay? It's a soft, it's a, it's almost a dull drill bit, um, mainly because if you had a sharp drill bit, if you catch the corner of the drill bit uh, on the acrylic, it will shatter, not shatter, it will spider up the, 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 uh, the plastic. You understand what I'm saying? So if you use the wrong drill bit in the acrylic, the windshield is six, seven hundred dollars in this 150. If you use the wrong drill bit, you bought me a new one. All right? So you just, you got to be careful on drilling acrylics. Use the correct drill bit, all right? You're actually melting through the acrylic, you're not trying to cut. So you're trying to create friction and, and pass it through, okay? So acrylics are 60, and stainless steel and very hard steels. Now, normal steel we use 118 degrees, okay, mild steel. But I'm talking stainless steel is a very hard type of steel. Um, titanium is another one. Yes, in 100 and 160 degrees. Ooh, you are so, well, we're going to call it 140 degrees, but you can go up to 160. You are correct, but the most correct answer for our exam is 140. All right, so everybody say with me, normal tip angle is? 118. 118. Acrylics? 60. And stainless steel? 140. Okay, you need to know all of those. Okay, back to the drill bits. All right, so. Another thing we need you need to know more for how to do things in the shop. This is the the blue is not in the exam, okay? Or the AAA exam, it might be online. We'll see. All right. So pressure by the user. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. How much pressure put on the drill? How much pressure I'm putting on the drill? Very correct. So normal tip angle. Well, well, let's not do that. Let's just do aluminum because steel is different down here. On aluminum, how much pressure do we use on our drill? Six pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking, let's categorize it as light, medium, heavy, very heavy. Oh, light, light. Light, very good. I thought you were trying to get tight. So, those of us who have big muscles here, how much pressure are we putting down on that? Very, very like light. the weight of our arm. Yeah, the weight of your hand. Now my hand is pretty small, but still, it doesn't take much. If you're having to push down on something, that tells you what on the aluminum? Bit, the drill bit is um, dull. dull. You have a dull drill bit. Very good. You don't want to be forcing it through. You want it to cut through. Okay. I've seen. I, I had a student this morning. Forcing it through, I had to stop and says, what's, what's the problem? He says, well, it doesn't go through very good, so I was pushing on it. I'm like, you have a dull drill bit, just go change it. Put the dull drill bits in the dull drill bit case. It's the label, okay? 
All right. So very, so it's light. All right, on acrylic and soft materials with a 60 degree angle, what kind of pressure are you gonna put on that? Light. Very light. We don't want, I mean, we're almost suspending the, the drill with our hand. We're not putting any pressure down. Just the weight of the drill is all we want. We don't want the weight of our hand on there as well, okay? So very light pressure. Okay, and then steel and stainless steel, what kind of weight or pressure do we use when we're drilling steel and stainless steel? The weight of our arm. Sorry, what? The weight of our arm. I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't hear what? <laughs> the weight of the arm. Weight of your arm? Yeah. Like nope, more. Here? No. Less? More. That's what I said. Sorry, what'd you say? I said more. Like the... Um, all right, well, I'm going to say it this way. Very hard. All right. Okay? Almost as much as you can get on it. Okay? That's the best. In a drill press, when we're drilling steel blocks, we're, we're taking the handle down and pulling on it. All right? Putting 60 pounds of force on that handle to try to get it to drill through. On a, on a uh, the bigger machine operating ones, they're going a lot of weight on that drill bit to try to get it to go through, right? But in conjunction with pressure, we have to have the speed correct as well, okay? So, the speed in aluminum is what? 15 RPM. Is what? 15 RPM. No. Uh, you have to add three zeros to that. We're going very fast. So our drills out here can go 15,000 RPM, I think, is what it is. 1,500. No. It's, gone. it's a lot. We want, so we want to go very fast for aluminum. All right, what about acrylics? Very fast. Very fast, because we're doing what? We're not cutting, we're what? Melting. Melting. Okay, and what about steel and stainless steel? If we're pressing very hard, we want a slower drill bit. Mm -hmm. Slow to a very slow speed, okay? Okay, so on the DeWalt, the yellow cordless drill that's out there, we are, there's three speeds on it on the top, right? One, two, three. So aluminum, number one, is the fastest. It's not fast enough. Remember the video of the guy from Great Lakes uh, College? He was using an electric drill. You remember how long it took him to go through the rivets with that? Mm -hmm. It took a while, didn't it? Whereas the guy from Illinois University zip, went right through with a, with a uh, uh, pneumatic drill. The pneumatic drill is very fast. Okay, that's what you want to use in aluminum. On steel, on the DeWalt, or any cordless drill, put it on number three, very slow, all right? Actually, they number it differently, but you want to go at the slowest speed that you can, okay? On the drill press, 50 revolutions per minute is, is the speed that you'd want to drill on the drill press. So the DeWalt, if I'm drilling steel, I'm um, ju I'm just pulling the trigger a little bit, trying to get as much pressure as I can on there and get it to rotate as slow as I can to get through the steel. Um, so that is the sheet metal class for uh, the drill bit section. You gotta remember, what are the three divisions? I can't hear you. Upper pressure. Thank you. And what are the pressure, or what are the angles, for cutting angles? 118. 118. Acrylics are 60. Stainless is 140. All right. One other thing before I get off of drill bits. Um, safety. Besides your PPE, what else do we need to be careful of when we're drilling? Not cutting, not drilling our fingers. <laughs> not cutting your fingers, okay? Very good. So I have to tell you a story, okay? A little rabbit trail. Um, I, would, I had a screw that had a nut behind it on the cowling, and I had to drill it off. 
So I had my vice grips, I was on the nut, and I'm drilling the steel screw that's all rusted out and there's no grip left to extract it with a screwdriver. I'm going very slow. And as it went through, it got caught on the cowling and, and the drill bit went like this. And it went into my thumb, I still have the scar. Uh, when I pulled it out, there was um, a little white piece of something sticking out of my thumb, okay? And I thought, oh, it's just the, it's just this ripped flesh. So I go to grab it and pull it off, and I can feel it all the way up my arm, okay? It, it was, that was queasy, man. I, <laughs> I went to the emergency room, all right? The doctor said it was just a piece of fat, a piece of fat that goes all the way up my arm? I, I don't think so. So um, we did have to take care of it. I had a tetanus shot. I you know, had to clean it out, manage it, cut it, and all that. But just to say, I don't want any blood here. Be very, very careful, okay? It's your responsibility to be careful with these things, okay? I got lots of war stories. We'll share them by the end of the two years. So. <laughs> don't learn from my mistakes, okay? It wasn't, it didn't hurt that bad. And I, you know, I've seen other people drill into their fingers, right? Because they're holding the drill on one side and they're trying to keep the aluminum, the two pieces of aluminum on, on the other side. Don't, don't do that, okay? Because Sure enough, you you won't go through the center of your fingers. You'll go you'll into one. All right. So just please be very careful with drilling. Okay. And then we're going to go out into the lab now and do some more drilling. Thank you.